Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching, this is me Mr. P and in this video we'll show you how you can host a WordPress website on your Samsung DeX. Let's begin. The reason for this video is for me to demonstrate how Samsung DeX can be your web server, how you can run websites, how you can host websites, something like a WordPress. Another reason for this video is to show it to you, like for example, you want to learn a WordPress, you want to learn how to maintain a WordPress website, how to code, just you want to start becoming a developer and you you want to start with a WordPress just to figure out ins and outs how to how WordPress functions and you don't want to go and spend extra money each month to rent somewhere server just to play around or you don't have a Windows PC to set up yourself a web server. So Samsung Dex can be an answer for you. I'm going to use the app called KS Web to host my website server. One thing to mention about KS Web before I'm going to go any further into this video, I'm using a pro version of KS Web. It costs me just less than five pounds to own the pro version. So there's an in-app purchases. The free version, I do believe, gives you a seven days trial. After that, basically app stops functioning. It's ask you to become a pro, pro member. So I paid £4.50 or £4.60 and uh, years ago, I think two, three years ago, and this app still functions on the, my Android devices and uh, it works perfectly. I have no complaints about it. And this app allows you to set up yourself a WordPress website so, server in less than five minutes. So let's begin. If you go to Google Play Store and search for KS Web, you will see this app showing up. And if I just gonna install it, but basically this app, like I said, it sets up for you to have your website server, the PHP server and the MySQL server and PHP MyAdmin, etc. So I'll show you. While this is happening, we need to get to our, ourselves a WordPress website. If you go to wordpress.org, I'll leave a link in the description below. It'll be taken to a homepage. You should see a button, something like get WordPress or something like this. Obviously, by the time you're watching this video, website might change the style. And if I'm going to go to this another page, scroll down a bit, it's going to give me an option to download WordPress 571. By the time you're watching this video, this version might be different. As you can see, saying, do you want to download this file? Because the files already exist. I already downloaded this file. Downloading this file takes no time. It's, it's just over 16 megabytes in size. I'm using a Samsung My Files app. If I'll go into archive a file that I just downloaded, it will ask me to extract. I'm not going to do that because I'm already extracted. And here we go. This is the folder with all the folders and files that I need to use to get myself a KS Web WordPress website server running. Okay. Right. KS Web should be downloaded by now. If I go to app draw and search for KS Web, I'm going to run this. When you're running first time, it's going to ask you for permissions like this. So I'm going to say allow. And right now it's doing the first initial installation, just installing a couple of files and things that it needs to run perfectly and fully functioning. And right now, as you can see, there's a message on the screen saying, congratulations, KS Web Pro version has been successfully registered. This is where I mentioned before, I own the Pro version because I like this app of messing around with WordPress and other things. I'm just enjoying just setting everything up in less than five minutes, playing around, delete and set up everything again. It's super easy and it's just cost me £4.60 and nothing else. Right, and by the way, it runs on Samsung Tech, so it's like win-win. Right, the, what I'm right now, there is a, a little downside about this app. I found out there is a bug when first time you're installing it and it looks like the app is running, it's actually not running. You need to just turn it off and then turn on back again. And right now, as you can see, light, light HTTPD turned on, MySQL turned on. And if I'll click on this link, which it says localhost 8080, it's going to take me to this page. If I'll see this page, it means everything is working correctly. It gives me a couple of useful information here. It basically, default username is root for my database. And uh, basically, in case web interface is username and password admin admin. So if I go to my files, right now what I need to do, I need to take the WordPress and move it into the htdocs folder. So I'm inside the downloads folder. Uh, first, let me show you htdocs. There is a folder created inside your internal storage called htdocs. As you can see, there's a bunch of files here. I'm just going to delete them because this is what I was playing around earlier. This is how easy it is. I set up WordPress just before recording this video, played around. I know I can delete and reinstall everything again in less than five minutes. So htdocs folder is empty. I'm going back to my downloads folder in, into unarchived WordPress. Uh, click on any folder, then click all, click copy, go back into my internal storage, click on htdocs and paste in here. So right now it's moving all this to over 2000 files. So while this is happening, I need to go back to KS Web and now click and hold at the top to move through tabs, go all the way to tools, select PHP my admin, make sure that light HTTPD is accepted or ticked, click OK. 
And right now what it does is activated the my PHP admin uh, files. If I go back to status and I click on the second one, which is localhost semicolon 8001, click on that, make sure Samsung, I'm selecting Samsung, and so now loading the database setup. So username is root by default, as I mentioned in the starter page, click go. As you can see, I'm right now in on PHP my admin. I click on a new and enter WordPress a database address as a WordPress because I know the installation process, WordPress installation process will ask me to add the database and default name will be WordPress. And it's easier for me to set up instead of typing something else. So I have a database here, WordPress by the name WordPress and it is completely empty. Let's go back to KS Web. Everything looks fine. If I'll click on the local host 8080 after the WP like WordPress files being copied. If I click on this local host semicolon 8080, Samsung internet is the default browser. You go, I have a WordPress installation process. I'm gonna quickly go into English UK, select that, click continue. Next page will give me a couple of useful information about a WP config file and everything else. Make sure you read that through. It's gonna help you out in the future. So we're going to create the WP config files, etc., etc. Let's go, click on the button by the name, let's go. Right, you go database name, WordPress. I'm gonna leave by default. Username, I'm delete that and say root because the database default username is root, password, nothing blank, and localhost and WP underscore leave as the default. Click submit, run installation. Once you see the page run installation, it means the WP WordPress installation successfully connected to your database. So site title obviously is gonna be Dex and username obviously is gonna be Mr. P. Password, I'm gonna put 123QWE. I'm doing this because I know this website will run for internally on my phone or in this case, Galaxy Tab S6 and it's no one gonna access from outside. So this matter if the password is super easy. I need to take confirm use of weak password. Otherwise, if I will untick this, the button install WordPress won't gonna work. The email, I'm gonna say speak to Mr. P at gmail.com just in case I will forget this password. And discourage search engines from indexing the site. It doesn't matter if you tick or not. Like I said, no one's gonna access from outside. So it doesn't matter if Google start indexing this website because Google can see this website because this website is inside your home network. Install the WordPress. And here we go. It's running, it's doing the things, it's doing all installation process and success. WordPress has been installed. Uh, thank you and enjoy. Username is WordPress, uh, WordPress, Mr. P, password is 123QWE, click login, and I will be presented with the WordPress admin panel page. Let's wait for this to start. Here we go, that's it, and it gives you a bit of like a quick start guide if you wanna go through this. I, it will ask you to pick the themes, the theme, the how the website needs to look like, etc. I'm just gonna go straight into a click Dex at the top left, which takes me into a front end of the page, and that's what the people will see, I'm gonna say just, I wanna just edit this. Uh, I'm being taken into a visual builder. So I'm gonna say like, subscribe. And let's say, join reddit.com forward slash Samsung Dex. Here we go. I'm just gonna do this. Click update. Once updated, I can preview. Click on this and preview. It's gonna view a post actually. Here we go, bottom left. Uh, or just click preview out here on the desktop. Yeah, let's see on the desktop what it looks like, how it's gonna look on the tablet, how it looks gonna look on the mobile. On the mobile, it needs a bit tweaking. Okay, let's go back to a WordPress admin panel. Click on the desktop left at the button Dex. Your, depending on a website name, is gonna say not Dex, it's gonna say something, something else. And here we go, subscribe, join the Samsung Dex subreddit group. Don't forget to do that, by the way. And here we go, I have my own WordPress website running on a Samsung Dex and I can take my tablet whatever I want with me. If I will connect to another Wi-Fi somewhere else, I can use that Wi-Fi home network to get the local IP address to log into whatever it is, local host, uh, semicolon 88 or whatever, like 192, 168, 178, 32, semicolon 88, whatever it is, and it's gonna work. There is a way to set up this to be accessible from outside your home network. If you want to see that, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do a video about it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like these kind of videos about Samsung Dex, that's what, that's what I do. I'm testing just crap out of Samsung Dex just to see how far I can push it. And like I mentioned here on, a, on the screen, as you can see, Samsung Dex has a sub, so Samsung Dex has a subreddit group, I can't even speak. Subreddit group, Samsung Dex, join. It's over 13,000 members helping each other to make sure that Samsung works for us. We're just trying to spread the word about Samsung Dex as much as you can. 
uh, it's, as far as I know, it's only one group in the entire internet where all everything is dedicated to Samsung Dex. Anyway, enough yapping. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.